Hi, I'm Timothy Baird, Managing Editor of the American Journal of Medicine, and I'm here with our Editor-in-Chief, Dr. Joseph Alpert, today to talk about an article in this month's issue regarding the effectiveness and safety of rivaroxaban versus warfarin in frail patients with, with venous thromboembolism. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about this, Dr. Albert? Yes, Timothy. Uh, it has really, um, there's been a revolution these days in the use of anticoagulants with the new anticoagulants. Initially, they were called the NOACs, which was the new oral anticoagulants. Now we call them the DOACs, the direct oral anticoagulants. Um, they are much easier to use, much safer, um, and, uh, and just as effective and sometimes more effective than warfarin, where you have to have blood tests constantly. Uh, so, except for valve patients with uh, prosthetic valves, plastic and steel valves, warfarin is gradually fading out. The new, uh, the new uh, forms of anticoagulation, for example, rivaroxaban is one of them, there are a number of them, they're really a much better alternative, much safer and more effective. And this study is an example of that. Um, again, frail elderly patients are very high risk for bleeding, and it turned out that the new anticoagulants, in this case rivaroxaban, were safer for that population compared to warfarin. Thanks for that, Dr. Alpert. Now, what would you say is a take-home message for clinicians regarding this uh, topic? Yes, uh, the take-home message here is clear, that the new oral anticoagulants are, they have immediate action, so within hours of taking it, you're anticoagulated, whereas with warfarin, it takes some time. You don't need blood tests. They have been shown to be both safer and just as effective, and at times more effective. And in this high-risk, frail population, it's wonderful that we have a better anticoagulant. And I think over the next few years, you'll see warfarin disappearing in, in this population.